As we are now in Christmas week, I thought I would do a video about Christmas. Now, obviously the term Christmas is Christ's Mass, and it is, for the Christians, it is the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ, their Saviour. But Jesus was not actually, assuming he was ever around, born in December. The reason why Christmas is where it is, is because the Christians appropriated the pagan midwinter festival and made it into Christmas, like our late Queen used to have her actual birthday and her official birthday. This is the official birthday of Christ. Now the date is given as the 25th of December. Obviously the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere is the 21st of December. That is the shortest day. That is the point when the sun is furthest from the North Pole before it starts moving north again. The Orthodox celebrate Christmas about 11 days later, and the reason for this is because until 1752, the, the different calendar was used. The current calendar we use is the Gregorian calendar. This is where New Year's Day got set as the 1st of January. It used to be later than that. But also it did skip 11 days. Now when you think about it, by the time you get around to Orthodox Christmas, it is more obvious that the days are getting longer again. Things like having Christmas trees and your logs are amongst the traditions that have been borrowed from the pagans, as is the idea of the Twelfth Night. In the United Kingdom, we only really started putting up Christmas trees and essentially what we recognise as Christmas in the home in the 1840s. This was, of course, because Queen Victoria had married Albert of saxe coburg gotha and German Christmas was essentially imported. Obviously, the whole of Ireland was then part of the United Kingdom, and the idea also spread to the rest of the Commonwealth. One thing that seems to be uniquely British is the concept of Boxing Day. This only dates from Victorian times, and it was where the servants in the big houses would obviously be serving on Christmas Day their employers, and then as a thank you, they would be given Christmas boxes by their employers, which was why you had the term Boxing Day, and the servants had their Christmas then a day later. So the 26th of December is officially St. Stephen's Day, uh, and has been obviously around much longer. There's not a lot really that can be said archaeologically about Christmas. I have been to Bethlehem, Manger Square, and in Manger Square is the Church of the Nativity. You actually step down from Manger Square into the nave of the Church of the Nativity, because since the church was built, the ground level has risen. You can go through into the crypt underneath the um, church where there is a shrine um, because the church is on what is reputedly the site where the stable was in which Jesus is reputedly born. Obviously, the church has been there for over a thousand years. Even assuming that any of it happens, we are not in a position to be able to carry out an archaeological survey. And just because you find things physically described in the book, as they are described in the book, that doesn't actually prove anything, because a story can be set in a real environment, and somebody can describe the very real environment the story is set in, even if the events themselves did not happen. An analogy I've heard is that it would be like digging up the remains of the Berlin Wall and using it as proof that James Bond existed. I haven't really got anything more to say about Christmas. This is a fairly short video. Bye for now.